Hey everyone, I've been working as a data engineer for the past 4-5 years now and in this video I'm going to pull back the curtain and share what it is really like to work in this exciting field. Data engineering is at the heart of every major data driven decisions. Let's break it all down and dive into the real world of data engineering. So who exactly is a data engineer? In simple terms, a data engineer builds and maintains the infrastructure that allows organizations manage, process, and analyze huge amounts of data. We are the ones setting up the pipelines that transform raw data into something that data scientists, analysts, and even automated systems can use for insights and decisions. Think of us like architects of the data world. We design the flow of data, optimize it for scale, and make sure it's ready for use across various platforms and teams. It's more than just coding, it's about scalability, efficiency and reliability. We play a crucial role in ensuring that data is in the right place at the right time and in the right format for analysis. My day-to-day -day revolves around building pipelines and ensuring data flows smoothly between systems. I work closely with data scientists and analysts to understand their needs and then create solutions that streamline this process. Design and build. First, I get requirements from stakeholders or data science team. They need data from different sources. So I design data pipelines that extract, transform, and load the data into a centralized warehouse. Optimization. It's not just about moving data, it's also about efficiency. I'm always looking for ways to optimize pipelines for faster performance, especially when handling big data. Things like parallel processing, partitioning, and indexing are key tools in my toolkit. Collaboration. Data engineers do not work in the bubble. We collaborate a lot with data scientists, software engineers, and business teams to make sure we are delivering exactly what they need. This is where understanding the bigger picture becomes crucial. Knowing how data will be used can drastically change how I approach the solution. The typical workflow usually follows these stages. Requirement gathering. Someone from the business side, usually a product manager or a data scientist, will approach us with a request. It could be anything from needing a new data source integrated into an existing data pipeline for better performance. Data ingestion and transformation. This is where I extract the data from various sources, clean it, and transform it into a usable format. We might be pulling data from APIs, databases, or even flat files. So building robust ingestion processes is key. Building ETL pipeline. Next, I develop and maintain ETL processes. I usually leverage tools like Apache Spark, Airflow, and AWS Glue to automate pipelines, ensuring data flow in real time or as scheduled batches. Testing and deployment. Once the pipeline is built, I test it in a staging environment to make sure that the data is processed correctly and that performance is optimal. After this, we deploy into production where it becomes part of the daily workflow. Monitoring and maintenance. Even after deployment, my job isn't done yet. I need to monitor these pipelines to ensure they are running smoothly and troubleshoot any issues that arise. Downtime or failed jobs can have a huge impact on business decisions. So this is critical. Collaboration. The team dynamics. Data engineering is a collaborative sport. On a given day, I'm working with data scientists. They rely on the data pipelines I build to run their machine learning models or perform complex analysis. If their data isn't clean or structured the right way, their models can fail. So we work together to ensure accuracy. Software engineers. Once the pipelines are ready, they often help to integrate them with the broader system architecture. We also collaborate on deploying the code and ensuring it meets production standards. Business teams. At the end of the day, the business relies on the data to make decisions and meet with product managers or stakeholders to make sure our data solutions align with the business goals and strategies. In my experience, data engineering teams typically come in two flavors. Embedded team. I'm a part of a cross-functional team that includes data scientists, product managers, software engineers, and business analysts. Our team focuses on a specific set of problems, like optimizing business processes or building specific data products. 
centralized teams. In other setups, data engineers form a specialized team that work across the organization. We get pulled into projects as needed, so we work on a variety of problems ranging from ETL optimization to real-time data integration. Both setups have pros and cons. Personally, I enjoy being embedded in a team because it allows me to focus deeply on solving specific problems and seeing the impact of my work firsthand. A day in the life of a data engineer. Now, let's talk about what a typical day looks like. 9 a.m. Morning stand-up. This is where we sync up with the team, discuss what we are working on and flag any blockers. 9.30 to 12 p.m. Development time. This is when I dive into coding, building or optimizing data pipelines, debugging issues or improving existing processes. 12 to 1 p.m. Launch time. 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. More coding time. 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Wrap up and planning. I typically end the day by reviewing what's next on my list, replying to any emails or Slack messages, and setting up tasks for tomorrow. Why I love being a data engineer? There are four main reasons why I am passionate about this career. The challenge. Data engineering is never boring. Every day brings new challenges, whether it's scaling a pipeline to handle millions of records or optimizing data pipeline. The complexity keeps me engaged and always learning. Flexibility. Like most tech jobs, data engineering offers excellent work-life balance. Sometimes there could be hybrid opportunities or we could have a fully remote opportunity as well. Compensation. Let's be honest, tech pays well. Data engineers are in high demand and the compensation reflects that. In some regions, senior data engineers can easily earn six figures or more. Industry flexibility. Data engineers are needed in virtually every industry. I've had the chance to work in an e-commerce, finance, and logistics, and I love that the skills are transferable to whatever sector I'm interested in. Should you become a data engineer? If you love solving complex problems and making data accessible at scale, data engineering is a fantastic career, but it's not for everyone. You need to enjoy coding, problem solving, and working closely with data. If you're thinking about becoming a data engineer, check out my other video where I break down the skills you need to succeed in this field. Hit the like and subscribe button if you found this video useful and see you on the next one. Thank you so much.